Hey ladies, welcome back to In Between Friends. I'm Rebecca and this is Erin. Hey, hey, hey! Mother of two, mother of twins. I caught up so quick, it was awesome. Kind of pissed me off. Mm hmm I worked hard. <laughs> She's like, wham, bam, pair of two. We are here today talking about baby food. Um, her babies are now seven months old. So hard to believe. Mm -hmm. Almost eight. Mm -hmm. Coming up on seven and a half months. Yeah. Craziness. Crazy. So we are, we are, like I'm taking credit. Um, she's her, <laughs> currently in the baby food stage. And mm -hmm. as you know from other um, videos that we've done, you love organic. I am a, I don't I, give a crap. <laughs> I'm a Nazi about it too. I, I know. I've I, honestly said to people, I think it just like cures that desire me to control something. <laughs> it's like I can't control my kids as much as I want. I can control what goes in their body. I, you know, so I just freak out on it. I, I just, really love that you're honest about that. I am. I mean, it, it really does like just the OCD in me. It just yeah. feeds it. It feeds it. It's totally. Good. So Erin's going to share with um, us some tips on how to make your own baby food and what is it that entails. Yeah. Since I was basically go to the grocery store and buy whatever's on sale. This is what I do. I make baby food for them. It's this like I, said, I love it, you. It feeds my OCD. Um, and it was just really important to me that they A, got organics, but that being said, organic food out there is everywhere, and it's actually yeah. pretty cheap. I mean, yeah. I can buy um, large quantities of uh, organic pre-made baby food online for about a dollar a package. It's not expensive these days anymore. Isn't that great? Because it's awesome. Because literally when, so baby girls seven, uh -huh. seven years ago, it was pricey. Oh, absolutely. It was like, yeah, no, that's a yeah. nice idea, but... Yeah. And there are, I mean, there are, you know, cost is, is going to weigh into everybody's life. Yeah, you know, sure. nobody's above that one. So, but it, I am surprised. And, but I really do spend some time looking online for really great prices for them. But that being said, at the end of the day, I really trust more of, I like to buy locally. I like to buy organically and I like to make it myself. Um, depending on where you are uh, and what you can purchase. I mean, I buy a lot of stuff just at a Trader Joe's. Sacks of sweet potatoes, sacks of organic pears. Love now, it. what I also do, and I know that these aren't very popular in uh, a lot of other places, but because we live in Southern California, the new CSAs are very, very popular. Uh, the shared agriculture. Yes. You just belong to a farm, an organic farm. Every week you go pick up produce. Yeah. And that being said, you're going to get some funky stuff. And I don't think any baby wants mashed beets. But that's when you eat the beets for your family. You eat the romaine lettuce. You, you take the hit, time. ladies. <laughs> go to a farmer's market. Yeah. yeah, and I was going to say, too, I think there's something called or, um, the Harvest Basket, Organic Harvest, something that they bring organic food in, and so if you're not by a farm, absolutely, and you buy mm -hmm. a, a box and that's, from yeah. them. And that's a lot of the uh, CSAs out here, they will they have delivery options as yeah. well. You go to kind of a central location, you exactly. pick up your box. Exactly. Um, that's where I'm finding that most of my savings are, but still, Farmer's Market are a great way to get the things that you, if you're really specific on just wanting to feed them the stuff that they yeah. like. With my babies, I don't care. You will eat what mommy makes you. They had pumpkin for breakfast yesterday. We might as well start early because you are not a short order cook. Nope. But the, the baby food process, which I've always told everybody because anybody who I, even nowadays where I feel like this is a trendy topic, a lot yeah. of people are doing it a lot, it's still not as popular as I thought it would be. And people always look at me like, how do you have time for that? And I always say, that is one of the easier things of my day. <laughs> If it has, there's no variable to it. Totally. It's the same every day. Totally. Steamed vegetables don't ever cry back at you or want to do something else or throw a fit. They go into the puree or easy <laughs> and they do what I say. It's really, I, I'm okay with it. It gets me in the kitchen. I like doing it and I do it in mass quantities. I was just going to say, so take me through a, mm -hmm. a day. Yeah. Take me through. I, I puree twice a week. Now that being said, I've got two infants. So I really think okay. you could do this once a week. Okay. Um, and about... Each time I do it, I do about three different vegetables. Perfect. And I, I usually do it the way where I have one thing steaming and one thing baking. I'll get my $20 pureeer out that I broke the first time I used it, and so it's jimmy rigged with a paper clip, and that thing's fine. I don't need no fancy pureeer. That thing works. They say blenders work just as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite honestly. Oh, yeah. And, and there's I, a pureeing setting mm -hmm. on most blenders. Yep. Yeah. And I just yeah. do it. Yep. First thing out of the oven, I'll, you know, if it's a gourd or what have you, I eat squash or pumpkin or whatever. Yeah. Scoop out the innards. Yes, the innards, puree it up, add a little bit of water to it. If, you, okay. if you're thinning things out for younger kids or if you're just keeping it thick, yeah. the puree, you know, just keep the water out. And just go, I'll rinse out the puree pot. I'm not even washing these things. Stick it back on there. Next thing goes in there, puree nice. it in jars, puree in nice. jars. Where did you get the jars? I was really fancy at the beginning and I registered for actually baby food, you know. 
holding things. <laughs> Whatever. Now I use. I'll put Tupperware in. The, I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. I put Tupperware in the freezer. I put Pyrex tissues in the freezer. So it really doesn't matter what you're putting in, as long as it seals well. You gotta watch out for those jars. If you're reusing baby jar, baby jars that had food in them from before. There's a lot of warnings out there that the shards can, you know, they can break and get shards in it. I use those too. Yeah, they're, when they break, you know yeah. that they're broken and you don't use them again. I use anything. That's at this under point. the claw of. Duh. Ice cube trays. I mean, that is huge for people with single tins, and even with yeah. um, t doubles or excuse me, twins, you could do this. You put them in, uh, put the puree in the ice cube trays, put a little bit of saran wrap Perfect. over it, pop a cube out every time you want to heat it up. Oh my gosh. Those awesome. are roughly about an ounce. Okay. So you just keep, you know, up oh in the end the larger they get. And then, you know, once you get an entire uh, ice cube tray frozen of puree, stick that in a Ziploc. You got little cubes and just keep using the same tray. Yeah. There's so many things. How long can you freeze fruit for? Is there Pure rays can only stay in the fridge for 72 hours. Fridge. Frozen up to three months. So that's what I do. It takes literally, I'll take something out of the freezer overnight and then within 12 hours we're down to okay. a, a normal puree. And then but I just you can store it up. You can mm -hmm. stock it up I'll in the freezer. Oh, in my friz. fridge. Love it. Stop. I think that's so awesome. It really is a lot easier than I anticipated. I feel as though the majority of the time, sometimes at the very end of the day, I look at it and go, I think I saved 20 cents today. <laughs> but whatever. I, it, it allows me to control it if they eat. But the majority of the time, I really do feel like I save a lot of money. It's just a neat kind of habit to get into. Yeah. And I know my kids aren't like crazy about vegetables, but when I hide it in their food, they don't even really know. And it's, mm -hmm. it's awesome. So hopefully this gives you a little variety. Of course, we know that obesity is on the rise. And so a healthy diet obviously is going to help set healthy habits mm -hmm. for you and your family. So if you like our video, put a thumbs up next to our faces uh -huh. and then um, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And feel free to jump over to our blog at www.inbetweenfriends for a little bit more. And we hope that this finds you well. Bye. Take care.